Hello again. In this video we're going to show you this, um, which is a star diagonal, and we're going to show you how to collimate one of these. Um, now this is a standard star diagonal, uh, a 90 degree one, which means that it's, it's it comes in at an, and out at a 90 degree angle. You can also get these in 45 degree, and you can also get them in an adjustable angle as well, with a, a swivel on them. And they come basically in two types. One's an erecting prism diagonal, and the other is just a, a standard diagonal. Now this one's just a standard diagonal, which means it uses a mirror. And the mirror just sits in there, and the light obviously comes in and gets reflected back out at the other angle. Um, an erecting prism diagonal has a prism inside it instead, and it actually flips the picture back the right way, so you can use them for terrestrial if you want to, because the, what you see is the right way up. Um, and for astro, it's not particularly necessary, it's just a, a standard diagonal will be fine. Um, now, you can get some that are collimatable. Uh, they have little collimation screws, sometimes on the inside, uh, sometimes on the outside. But in actual fact, they're all collimatable if um, if you cover a, a, just a little couple of tricks with them. And I'll show you a really easy way to collimate one of these. And all we need is, firstly, we're going to need our old favourite, the, the laser collimator. Um, and for this you do need one that's got a, a window in it, like this. Um, this one's the Antares collimator, which we've introduced previously in other videos. And what we do with this is you just turn it on, like so, and fit it into the diagonal at the eyepiece section. Like so. And then with the other side, all that you need to do is to take a standard makeup mirror like this one, um, you know, just steal one of your wife's. And what you do is you just place it flat against that section of your diagonal, like so. And if you can excuse my fingers and you can still see what's going on, um, you'll see that this one is actually collimated. And if I start to move the mirror about, the mirror from the, from the diagonal itself, you can see how it would be collimated. It's all a little bit awkward this trying to hold it for the camera, but if I move the mirror in the diagonal, you can see that I can alter that point of light in various planes. So all you need to do is if you take your diagonal, let me just remove this, and where your mirror actually screws in to the bottom, you can actually adjust it by shimming it either in that plane or that plane or so on. And a good way to do this is if you go to a motorist supply shop, um, you can buy what they call coach line tape. And it's a very, very thin tape. It's used for putting a, a stripe around the bodywork of a, of a car. Um, and if you get a, a short length of coach line tape, you can actually put a strip of the tape on any of the faces just to be able to pad that mirror out a little bit, shim it out, and with a little bit of experimentation, eventually you'll end up with a perfectly collimated diagonal. Um, you know, if you've got a refractor that's collimatable, um, you know, you, even if you if your diagonal's out of collimation, you can correct it by by collimating your your refractor with the diagonal in. But at the end of the day, all you're doing is you're correcting an error that's still going to be there. Um, you know, you're changing, the, you're not curing it, you're just like getting rid of the symptoms. And it would be much better if you can collimate your diagonal and then collimate your refractor after. Um, so that's just a nice little useful tip there, using a makeup mirror and, uh, and getting your, your diagonal in, in perfect collimation. I have to say that this particular one is quite a cheap one, and I've only just managed to get hold of this. It actually came this morning in the post. And I will say that once the screws are back in, it's actually in perfect collimation. Um, straight out of the box. So you could be lucky, but if not, like I say, just use the little mirror trick. Um, obviously, it's been a little bit difficult for me holding this in front of the camera like so, but if you, you know, if you place your mirror onto a table or something, you can, you know, you've got a, something of a work surface there to sort of play about with. Um, well, there we go, just a, another little tip from the shed for you. And once again, thanks for watching.